Now a full turn. Now a full turn, a half turn. So if it's this so way, it's got to be right over there towards that way. Or what if it's a little off? Maybe it ain't going to be. No, like this. Oh, that's fine. This launch is close. But this is going to be a lot of money for the torque, Joe. That's easy. All right, so right now we got the we got the crank installed. Now we're just gonna install the all the uh, pistons, all the bearings on the pistons, and. Fuck, it's just there. So yeah, the reason why we gotta do this is because the angle that these pistons are at, they're not as much as a V and they're not straight up and down, so. You could buy a, what do you call it, a piston. A ring squeezer? You can't, yeah, a it rings. won't work. <laughs> no, they actually have a, a one for it. One for this one? Yeah, you can buy it, but it's a pain. You think this is the best way to do it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just tap right in there. I think it was gonna be this soon that I was gonna do all this. <clears throat> well, yeah, now we're just gonna need another bearing and put it all on. So both those notches go on the same side. Yeah, see the one's on the one side, one's on the other side. That way it locks it in there so they don't they don't spin the spin a bearing on there. So we got all this done. We got all the pistons in. I mean, these the rings were kind of hard to get in just because the angle that they were at. I mean, we we really couldn't use the little where is it at? the piston compressor it's like to compress all the pistons together. So we just did it by hand. But honestly, it was it was probably easier than using one of those. guys so that's the click I've been dealing with so it's it's got to be something in the head I don't think it's the bottom end at all but um yeah the new internals and the new motor hopefully I get my head back um hopefully by Monday he's supposed to be done about two weeks ago but yeah hopefully get that all get that all on um I'm probably going to end up taking the motor out tonight I'm not too sure I mean it should be pretty easy but We'll see, we'll see with that. But yeah, I'm probably gonna end up taking all this out, so by the time Monday rolls around, we should just be able to slap the head on and we should be done. Uh, and I got a chance for everything as far as like the water pump, the power steering, just all the all the little small things to my other engine. And all right, so right now what we we got off the front the whole front bumper, and we're just trying to figure out how to how to delete a lot of things. And one of the things we deleted was, was the second. So these cars they have like a secondary air injection pump. And we we already had that one off previously, but we just kind of like left all the wires. So we deleted all that, which is 
the little can right there and a bunch of wires. So that, that's going to delete a lot on the front. And we're thinking about deleting this hose right here. It's basically a secondary cooling system. Over yeah, like water cooling system. So it, it, it runs all the way over there to the little radiator over here. And it runs all the way back right here and plugs right back into it. So we just take this one and run it right back into this one, yeah. Yeah, or we'll just cap it from here and then yeah. cap that one. So, but yeah, we should have the motor out in probably an hour or two. Yeah. And we'll probably start taking all the pieces off, like the power steering, the AC, and the alternator. So, hey, if you guys don't know who this is, this is my dad. He'll be, he'll be here to help. Do all the work. <laughs> we just got the head back from the machine shop a few hours ago. We're just gonna work on the car. I just got off work, but we're gonna get this motor all assembled tonight and get this one out hopefully by tomorrow morning and get this one in. We'll see you at the one thing that might not get done is getting the diff in the trannies, but we'll see what we can get done. And with the head, uh, we're gonna tighten it down as like a, a pattern. So we're gonna start with the middle ones and then we're just gonna work our way out on the outside ones. So right now we're about to just torque everything down. It's like 17 steps just to torque a head bolt. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So right now we're just putting in the lifters. We're just gonna move them up even more, I guess. <laughs> yeah, for sure, sure. Because we don't want that first dry start. Yeah. Oh shit. We don't want my glove in there either. It's a, yeah. But yeah, so one one cam is actually shorter. Alright, so we got the cams in, got all these torqued down to spec. Uh, there's actually a little plate, there's... Is this just for the VR6? Yeah, just for the VR6. Yeah. But yeah, there's actually little notches in the cams where they slide in so everything stays straight and there's only one way you can put it on. So we, t we got those cam gears all tightened up. We're about to flip it around, put on the oil, brand new oil pump, because I don't want to run, run the old one and take a chance. And put the oil pan on, and we'll probably have to take the motor off to put on the, the timing chain gears and tensioners and stuff. But yep. All right, so we just got the new oil pump in. There's the old one. Just it. I mean, I'm pretty sure that one was fine. I just didn't want to take any chances with it. We got that one all bolted up. Got a gasket on this side. And we're probably gonna put the oil pan on next, right? We gotta oh, get these front. Timing change, I'm sure. I mean, we need the back one too to put the. Yeah. What's up, you two? Uh, we're back here with part two of the the VR6 build. Uh, right now, what we have done is basically assembled the entire motor. <laughs> we started a little late on recording, but um, let me go. But yeah, this one's all assembled. This is the fully built one. With a, we put a stage three clutch back on it because it has like a what is it a 17 pound? Yeah. It's like a 17 pound pressure plate. Because the last one, the 
the rivets broke on it because I money shifted but right now we're just so the motor's basically ready to go back in but we figured we try to get the diff in so we don't have to take the tranny back out and we can get both tires hooking but yeah so everything on this one's all cleaned up and basically ready to go in and get started so Thank you. 